Hello, welcome back to the podcast you would rather listen to than to reply to that one friend. My name is Shrieker. My name is Jackson. My name is Josiah. My name is Tanner, and welcome back to the Locksmith Podcast. All right. So, so today we're going to be talking about haircuts, uh, favorite foods, um, the relevancy of coronavirus, uh, 2020, and then the riots. And the events that transpired with George Floyd. Yeah. yeah. First um, off, with one the, second. Give me a second. First off, Pardon? with the the second most random topic on here. Haircuts. Favorite mm-hmm. food being most random, of course. So, yeah. All right. So I I'd mean, like to start off with this one. Um, okay. So uh, my dad gave me a haircut last week. Oh, and. Uh, Oh, I like to, I like to call it the frat boy haircut. Or oh, wait, I want to see this. Turn, turn on your camera. Turn on your camera. I want a picture of this. Sure, but the lighting isn't that good. Um, That's fine. Wait. All right. So, like Ooh. my my sides Ooh. are cut. Um, the back is cut, and I tied my hair back. So oh, you got a man bun. Oof. Yeah. yeah. So my, my hair was long. I used to so... use my headphones to keep my hair up like this. <laughs> Oof, I don't have a cut. Hey, I can't have a normal. I, so, yeah. I had a haircut the day we were able to go out. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to, but like I tried to get one Memorial Day, but the barber had closed early mm. because it was Memorial Day, and so we had to wait See, another that's week. That's Like last weekend. Like See, my. I put a mullet. Oh God, no. <sighs> <I had> <laughs> Oh, no. Speaking no. of haircuts, Jack. Oh, Tanner, you should see mine. I had one, too. Oh, God. I got no. cut. Oh. The, the, Jack and I both. I, I'm only watching. I mean, I'm just going to, like, take some pictures just of my hair before and after my haircut. Whenever mm-hmm. it is. Oh, I should, I should do that, too. I should take a before and after picture. Before, see, before. my hair grows fast. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, yeah, mine, too. And I'm very hot. My, my hair goes very fast. So... The past three months have been unbearable for me without a haircut. Yeah, really? Mm-hmm. Dude, yeah. You should ask your parents to cut your hair. No, no, no. I already got well, a haircut. Y'all know, y'all know Baden got a buzz cut, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Baden got a buzz cut. Yeah. <laughs> he said that on the group chat. Uh, See, I... Oh, man. That's the one reason why I'd actually pay attention to the group chat. Everything else, I don't care. <laughs> Just, um... I mean, yeah, we were talking about because my mind. little brother got a buzz cut, and uh, we were so I I, said, I sent that over the group chat, and Baden's like, "Yeah, I got a I got a uh, buzz cut too." Oh. Well, I kind of like my haircut. Uh, my sideburns are actually kind of uneven, but I'll fix oh, that gosh. later. Mine are too, uh, sort of. I've had to shave my own sideburns just because. I did that too, but I did them with scissors. Otherwise, they would be down to my chin. I've been I've been shaving my own sideburns for a while now. Oh yeah. I, mean, I, I hate them. I hate sideburns. Also, I'm yeah. starting to grow a beard, which is oh, yeah. I'm I'm, keep, I'm keeping the stash. Keeping the stash. I shaved my mustache like a couple of weeks ago. No, nah. it's starting to grow I back I already. I I've, 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 I've gone like a month without doing anything to it. I I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see how far I can get the mustache to go. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Have y'all seen? Have y'all seen? Yug. We'll call oh, yeah. Yug. Have y'all seen no. Yug? No, oh, I Tanner, haven't. let me send this to you. Tanner, let me send this to you. Oh, Yug cool. has an afro. An absolute, like, he has, like, a five-inch long afro. It is incredible. I mean, together, we're... I mean... It is... Together, we're for, basically... For, like, for the dude that laughing. had last year, like, a millimeter of hair last year, and now it's, like, five inches. It's incredible. Let me see if I can find it. See, the thing is, the three of us, me, you, and Yug, just that, mm-hmm. uh, the three of us together are basically a rock band. I mean, two of us have mullets. <laughs> I'm gonna, I want to see one. this. But that was a week ago. I don't have one anymore. Well, yeah, but like a week ago, we would have been like ultimate rock band. Two mm-hmm. guys with mullets, one guy with mullets. You got your fro going, boy. <laughs> oh my god. You got fro's and your mullets. I showed it to my mom, and she's like, "Whoa, he's got a fro." <laughs> There she is. went back to the 80s after looking at that photo. There it is. How bad? I I, I gotta see. It it's like like it's the, it's more than the size of his forehead. Size of his forehead. That how mm-hmm. big is his forehead? 
I mean, about the same size as mine. I mean, you've met him. Yeah, it's like I, his no, forehead. I have not. Yeah, you have. You haven't? I thought you said you did. Inch to his heart, your color, and then put on top of his head. I think you have. You said last time we talked about him that you had. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Keep in mind, keep in mind that was two weeks ago. By the way, his birthday was two days ago. By the way, happy birthday, Yug. Yes, I said oh. about it. I haven't talked to him in a while. Mm. I don't know enough about him. Wow. This, was, this so. was two weeks ago that his hair looked like this. It was either a week or two weeks ago that his hair looked like this. So it's longer now. Daddy. Wow. He says he's going to grow it out. Uh, he said he said he's going to grow it out until the end of uh until we get back into school. Oh. That's that's a fro, dude. That is a fro. <laughs> Bro, I want to know what it looks like when it's tied up. It's a proper like, I want to see how bad the roof is. <laughs> it's a proper afro. Oh, wait. I also have a picture of 2020 Yug from that picture. Oh, yeah. 2020 Yug. Mm-hmm. Wait, for the listeners, they have no idea what's going on here. Oh, oh right. So we have a friend, trombone player. Um, his nickname is Yug. Um, we're using his name. Oh. Yug isn't usually what we call him, but there's a picture of him that we call Yug that I edited to where he has blue strands of hair and a unicorn horn. And now we have a and 2020 year of that. Yeah, and, and a handlebar mustache and a monorail. Mm-hmm. Let me go grab the the 2018 version of that. I think it was. I can find it. May not even pick up that I was that it was him. Oh, it does. I think. Where is it? There it is. Twenty twenty yug or twenty eighteen yug. I can put it in. There you go. It's incredible. Bro, this call's been going on for an hour now. Oh my! Yeah, it has. Wow. That is a difference. Yeah, yeah, difference. It's a big difference. Yeah. Dang, bro. And his unicorn horn has gotten thicker. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, that can be good job, Yug. Taken out of context. That can be taken out of context real easy. <laughs> yeah. o- only if you don't. <laughs> I mean, he's got a point, though. I'm not saying he also, doesn't. You're saying it also. You. His his beard went from being like drippy kind of um, to being like it's it's he's got like a I don't know what to call it it's just a full beard. <laughs> he's got a beard. Okay. Yep. Now for the next topic, the most random out of all these food things, food like food. What is your favorite food? It depends on the day. Yeah, I was, about, I was about to say it for me it depends on the depends yeah. on the day. All right, the mood, I, I should present this differently. If you could only have one food uh for the rest of your life, what would it be? Uh chicken, chicken, chicken really? pretty good. Because, express. because it is one of the most variable types of food or meat you can cook. You can fry that's it. That's true. You can grill it, it is you can also roast it. the best meat. You can boil it, keep that in mind. I'd say Panda Express, because they got some good food. I love the really? tuna. Yeah. No, like one dish, or one, like, oh, I don't yeah. even yeah. know. Panda one Express, dish, yeah. chicken. Panda okay. Express, uh, chicken. That's so specific, though. Well, at one point, you're going to get sick. Yeah. No, I he, won't. But, I mean, he's going to have a longer time than most to eat it with enjoying it, because there's so many different ways to cook it. Teriyaki chicken can only be cooked with teriyaki. Oh, I thought I thought we were still on chicken. Oh no no no. Chicken. Yeah, teriyaki chicken. chicken is like just chicken. Teriyaki, teriyaki chicken oh, is pretty you're good. Also, just yeah. chicken. Okay. Just yeah, I'll well, just just because like you literally can cook it like any way you want. Exactly. Like my American. I, yeah, chicken. Chicken's just so versatile. I, I, you know, I can cook other meat, but I can't cook chicken. It's the what? One how, to, like, how can you not cook chicken? That's even one of these things. It's easy to cook. It's too weird for me to cook it. Like, I, it's like hard. I to think she doesn't chicken. like salmonella. It's hard to see. see when it's cooked all the way. No, it is. Like, I agree. I look at it, but, that's why you just cook it forever. Or, so or, you can you burn it? <laughs> or you just look up how long it takes to cook chicken. Yeah, but then that's like, Google is never when wrong. Chicken, when you grill chicken, <laughs> yeah, you have to like, you have to know for sure that it's cooked all the way for, uh, for when you're grilling it. 
See, here's the yeah. thing. Get a meat thermometer. That's what we have. have. Yeah. Have One, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Look inside and be like, okay. 165 but the is, thing the is temperature for poultry. They I never said – the, the, question, the question never was if you had to cook it yourself. It was if you had oh, to eat yeah. – you can get this to be prepared. That's you don't have fair. to cook it yourself. You can just go to Walmart and pick is... out like a ton of different types of chicken. Like you can get fried chicken, rotisserie chicken, chicken tenders. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'd you can get just... like lemon like, chicken. Pretty much every restaurant also has some form of chicken. Okay. What would yeah. be your second choice, but only one you can you eat like every, let's say, eight months or something like that? Every few months Damn or it. so. Or oh, no, have you ever had chicken? Like, wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me say my first one. Okay. It would, it, it's got to be pizza. Like pizza's like top tier. Dude. That's true. Pizza's pizza. also really versatile. Yeah. Yeah. Because like there's so many different sauces, things, toppings, one of those types two. of cheeses, and different companies <laughs> make different styles of pizza. Yeah. Like, like you got uh, you got the grease ball from DiGiorno, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, you got, got yeah. Papa John's, Domino's. Oh, Domino's is amazing. Oh, Pizza uh, Hut is out of the question. It's the worst pizza out there. It's <laughs> so bad. Ooh, worst yeah. pizza. Probably old little old Pizza Hut, like from like ten years ago or something. No, best pizza, anything from little. Pizza. Oh, worst, worst yes. pizza. Best pizza like, is Little Caesars from like a day ago. I can't eat Little Caesars. <laughs> That's right, you can't. <laughs> yeah, they won't serve yeah. it without tomato sauce because I I get really really bad stomach aches if I have tomato sauce, um, and they don't serve oh, it without tomato sauce. Or something. Papa Marcos. Well, I mean, yeah, I got like there's Papa Murphy's, there's uh, Marcos. Um, Papa Murphy's is pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty like, good. See, Papa, Mur- Papa Murphy's is one of those where it's like you can specify. I- I'm yeah. saying for like quick and easy Little Caesars. Oh, yeah. Yo, yeah. Wait, Domino's, Domino's Random awesome. question, but do you guys know no. where you can find stuffed crust pizza without Pizza Hut? Uh, DiGiorno. Yeah, yeah there's just a lot of places that do it. I think Papa Murphy's does it. Uh, really? Because Papa yeah. John's doesn't, and I love Papa John's. Domino's see, might. I'm... But I'm, not, Worst. I'm not paid by I'm not paid by DiGiorno. Hey, get DiGiorno. Don't go with delivery. Uh, yeah. Some cases, though, I'm just like, I really want delivery. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I'm too lazy to cook. See, see, here's the one thing. I don't like how long it takes for Domino's to get here. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm, that's why I probably don't so much better. Or I mean, Caesars. Like, Domino's does taste good, though. Yeah, Domino's is really Oh, yeah, Domino's tastes great, but the problem is it they takes forever brownie. to get there. That's why my family, whenever we get it, we order it really early. Yeah. yeah. And the brownies are amazing. Yeah, we always do pick up, though. See, my family gets one thing delivered. because the fact... Well, you, see, it, it, for us, it. it depends. Like, yeah. for Domino's, we usually get it delivered, but if it's, pop, if it's Little Caesars, we're going down to the store, picking it up for $5, hot and ready Little mm-hmm. Caesars. That's that, yeah. that's pretty good. For and plus, like from my house, they're not even that far away. I don't think they're like maybe five minutes away, and maybe. See, uh, I live my on Domino's a hill. Is, like really close to me. Yeah, I live on a hill. I live on a hill. I live on a hill. So it's hard for people to find where I live. <laughs> yeah, oh, Tanner's <laughs> living in the hills, guys. I, 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 oh, I, oh I, let's write this down. Tanner lives in the hills. Shocker. I I live in a state full of mountains. Wow. Well, I mean, I don't. Well, I live on a sort of hill. It's not really a hill. There's hills around. You're like on the side. You're like on the side of the hill. But there is there's only one person in this. In I said before, there's only one person in this chat who knows who's been where I live, and he doesn't even know where I live. I know what it looks like, and if yeah. you drive me Pat, if you drive me down your street, I'm like, oh yeah, that's town. Wow, shocker! If you drive. If you drive someone past the street you live on, they'll know where you live. Wow, what a shock. Like, I can point out your house if you give me, like, a bunch of addresses. I can point out. Really? Wow. If you give I me just, the like, general I area. Do it very well. All right, so I, we're changing I, subjects before. I mean, I, I, give my, I give my address way too easily. Yes. <laughs> nah, I make people work for it. Yeah. So it's like Tanner, pretty much everyone address? can just You have ask. to, like, track him down. You have to spend months tracking Tanner down. And then hey. he might give, and then he might give you a digit of his address. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I won't give any of you hints. That's the thing. Well, well, I'll just go on a road trip at one point and try to find Tanner's house. And it's our scavenger hunt. Yeah, have fun with that. Drive down every street. Just knock on every single door. Hey, do you know a Tanner? 
Just see what, like, because we, most of us, well, at least Jackson and I know what your brother and your parents look like, so. Yeah, but here's the thing. We don't answer the door. <laughs> so if someone doesn't answer the door, we just break in. Tanner! <laughs> yeah, we'll be just, just, like, come over here, just be like. Yeah, sure. Tr we're playing, we're that not actually going to break and enter. No, we just be like, we just be like. FBI, open up! <laughs> Then that's a guaranteed way not for us to open the door right there. <laughs> oh, are you guys convicts or something? FBI, open up! Nah, just <laughs> yeah, open the door. <laughs> yeah, because they're breaking it down anyway. Convicts. Yeah, yeah. At, at that point, you're just gonna break the door down. So. Three, two, one. FBI. FBI, open up! All right. Well, uh, now that we we'll probably get back to that topic. food. Yeah, back to yeah. the topic. Not back to that food. topic thoroughly. Not on the topic um, what's of what's the next where... one. Um, next one. I don't know. Uh, uh, relevancy of coronavirus, but I, do we are we done with food? I think we're done with food. Okay, so corona uh, coronavirus. Yeah, I relevancy like of relevancy coronavirus. Relevancy of coronavirus has like, uh, gone down so like far. Now. I I I had a sneeze, but then it went away. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. I hate I, like it, it was, it was just about to come, and I was about to sneeze, and all of a sudden it just faded away. <laughs> all right, I'm gone now. Bye. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. So, relevancy um, of coronavirus. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's it. Like when it when it first happened, like around the time we were going to take the New York trip. It was like the big thing for everyone to talk about. Like it was, like you could pretty much anywhere you went, you would hear people talking about it. Everybody's freaking out, um, losing their. Everybody's, mm -hmm. everybody's losing their minds about it, and everybody's like, and then worried about. Everything. And, mm -hmm. and then it just like kind of disappeared off the map. Yeah, just that's because like, like it's it, everyone's gotten used to it. It's been three months. Yeah. Like, I, I feel it's been three months, and all we've heard is if you do this, it will go away. And now people yeah. are trying to do it. And what do you hear again? If you do this instead of that, and not do this, it will definitely go away. Have y'all heard uh, that the how much you said recently that uh, I I saw it on the news like yesterday. Mm -hmm. Um, it said uh, there's uh, a possibility that um, or not a possibility. It's it's very likely that um the vaccine will not make it go away for, like, it won't grant immunity for that long. No. Wait, Wait is there a vaccine? No. Not yet, but once we get one, it won't last very long. Here it is. I mean, it. it's going to be like the flu, because of the fact that, think of it, every single time a flu vaccine comes out, what magically happens? It's not it the evolved. right strand, or it's somehow so far off that it was like a waste of however much money it, it costs to, to for gas for the appointment to walk into Walgreens. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it, uh, I'm not wrong. At, at the point when you realize that you've just wasted, let's say, ten dollars worth of gas to get somewhere, plus however mm -hmm. much it costs to get the shot, you, you wasted on a vaccine that won't help you. That's what yeah. I see it. I mean, it, it, it really does depend on how long it's going to last. And like the coronavirus, if it's going to last you two months, you might want to go get it just so that you can have at least two months, those two months to go and do something. Like get so it back to thing. some semblance of normality. All, all I've heard is that UV light kills it. If UV light kills it, then people down here in the South must be we're immune good. to it. Because <laughs> yeah. We're not necessarily immune. We're very like... I mean, like, we killed I mean, I'm joking. 
I mean, yeah, yeah. So maybe we should be going to the beach. Just think of it. We most southern states have at least a month without rain, so that's a month of almost straight sunshine. Mm -hmm. That's that's the way I see it. If you keep telling me, yes, uh, if you go out and stand in the UV light for a blank amount of time, you won't have it. I mean, the thing is, it's probably it depends on how long it takes to kill it. Because I mean, part of the thing is. It's not just outside your body; it's also on the inside where the UV light can't reach. You open have your to, mouth, like that. Yeah, just open. You have to your thoroughly mouth. cook. <laughs> you have to oh, thoroughly no. cook yourself in the sun. <laughs> just lay. I could just see like somebody just laying down on the in the middle. Of the I don't street, want to be served in stuff. as many flavors as chicken. And you're just laying down in a giant. Josiah, are you having a seizure? No. Oh, jeez! What the heck? <laughs> that is. What the frick? That is strange. Oh. Um, He's glitching in and out of reality. Not doing anything. Why? Josiah. I need like I need to like capture this on. I'm gonna capture this. Yeah, I was gonna. <laughs> I was gonna Dude, you're, you're like phasing but, in and out of that's, our That's very very strange. Oh, it just fixed itself. Oh, never mind. It's gone. Nope, it's no, still going. Back. I'm gonna take a video of it. I'm just still having a seizure over here. Mm. That is strange. For, 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 for the for the listeners, we're we're on Google Hangouts, and my image is just having it's gone. Stroke. It's having a stroke. Yeah, yeah it's just non-existent. It's like this is gonna come on our slash. I had a stroke. It's like flashing yeah. random colors. Josiah is like flinging, flying around the screen. He's, he's all over the place. Okay, like one minute he's like on the roof. One minute he's like his head's through the wall. He's he he's going to play G mod. That is very strange. Anyway, coronavirus. <laughs> coronavirus. Yeah. Um, the Rona. Yeah. Back to coronavirus the has infected your computer. Also, also, uh, I, w- I want to ask one one question. When did people look at this and just start making fun of it? I what? I started doing uh, the. You mean Reddit? No, the like coronavirus. No, just that's what I mean, like on Reddit. No, no, not 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 not, not not on Reddit. I'm saying just like within a friend group. I started doing it almost the minute it started. Oh yeah. Oh, what, yeah I made a bunch of jokes about it, and then people started dying. I'm like, okay, guys, let's calm down a bit, and then it. I, I don't. Going I don't even like, remember all right, boys, making fun of it. Time. The difference between the difference between some of the states in the U.S. and mind you, this is a stereotype. This is not how it mm-hmm. actually is. There's two types of people during the coronavirus, with, when it comes to toilet paper at least. <laughs> Either you're getting... Costco wholesale. You're going straight to the store and you're buying up all the toilet paper. You're buying tons of toilet paper or you're buying ammunition because you're coming for other people's toilet paper. <laughs> Tanner is the second of those two. I very much am. Actually, I saw a really good joke. Or I heard a really good joke. Who's going to be in your Roman bandit gang? Sorry, what? Who's going to be in your roaming bandit gang? Uh, me. I'll be there. I offer very good, uh, big brain. <sighs> but, like, yeah, I stopped making jokes about after people died. And yeah. then people are still dying, but not as much. So I'm like, okay, is it meme time? I've been <laughs> making, I've been making the jokes. I, I, I mean, I'm surprised people haven't started buying hazmat suits. Yet. Uh, think about this: the the only way to get through a hard time is to, at one point, just take it and turn it into humor. Mm, that is true. At some point, because I think I bet. Because I mean, I remember on Reddit right after the winter break from school, like I got on Reddit and I saw like tons of coronavirus stuff. I was like, huh. So I bet what something at least some of that was. People who weren't like people in China were um, memeing it because they were trying to, you know, like you said, Tanner, get through a hard time with humor. And then everyone else who was seeing it in China. Are they? Well, I mean, it may have been people outside of China, like that were affected by it too. But like everyone else who wasn't affected thought it was just a joke and, you know, did the same thing. Okay. Wait, okay. So. This is, uh, I think we've explored this topic well enough. Yes. Next sure. topic. Punta Twenta. 
the most messed up uh-huh. year yes. since. Okay. <laughs> what do you think is going to come after all of this? Do you think it's going to be floods? Do you think it's going to be mass tornado? I mean, like we're, we've started a uh, hurricane season three days ago. Who knows? Oh shoot! I forgot about hurricane season. So oh, yeah. what? Because we get affected by everything here in Alabama. <laughs> what? Bless you. Mm-hmm. What could? What could happen? Bless you again. Tornadoes, flooding, hail, hurricanes. What I actually you- wouldn't mind hail as long as it's not you know. I wouldn't mind snow. Bad. Too bad. Yeah, snow would be nice. Now, it's not going to happen, it. but it would be nice. <laughs> that That's pushing it. Well, number yeah. one, if we get covered in a blanket of snow and it's sunny, we'll have twice the UV rays. And if you're in a greenhouse, maybe five times. So coronavirus is gone. Uh, you still have to cur- thoroughly cook yourself like a chicken. Thir- coronavirus is gone. Thoroughly cooking yourself like a chicken. I never thought I'd hear those yeah. words come out of your mouth. I, I, <laughs> I have this image of just some food. Just like laying in a giant like pan in the middle of the street, just rolling around on it, just oh gosh, just some dude just like laying there, just like rolling back and forth in the middle of a giant like frying pan, just like <laughs> on like a beach in Florida or something. Wait, don't you mean Arizona? Arizona huh. would probably be the best spot. Arizona is so unbelievably hot, dude. I don't oh. understand how it's so hot. Like, here we have, here we hit, like, you know, 80 or 90 in the middle of winter. There, in the middle of winter, they hit 212. Exactly. Uh, but, yeah, 20... 459. Uh, 459. Wait, is it called 459? 451. 451, yeah, my bad. Yeah, that's like way. <laughs> yeah. Josiah is still having a seizure. Um, yeah. Is he legit? Yes. Oh, okay. God, he is. You know what, you know, you know what that reminds me of watching? That reminds me of watching the mad intro on Cartoon Network. Oh, just the, the the jumping mad. around. No, oh, no, wait, no. The what happened to mad? It just died. It just, did, it just stopped. It didn't exist. Yeah. It, it, it got snapped. It, it got snapped. What do you mean? Uh, Did you hear they're putting mutants into the MCU? Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's why they're 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 uh, saying it's because um the amount of energy released by the Infinity Stones when they were snapped three times on Earth was enough to activate a lot of people's mutant genes. Like uh, it had Quicksilver and um. I still I still want to put one thing out. I haven't actually yet to watch Infinity War. Really? Or uh, Endgame? Sorry. I have yet to watch Endgame. I've watched That's Infinity even War. I, I watched mean, Endgame I watched, with Jackson before I, I seen it. Before I saw uh, Infinity War. I watched Infinity I watched Games or Infinity War on a ship. I, I got Infinity Game. <laughs> Infinity, Infinity Game and Endgame. <laughs> Infinity Game and Endgame. I watched Endgame in Atlanta. Uh, but no, my, I watched it on a cruise ship. When, where my brown cool. people are. <laughs> I say that and it's racist. See, that's not racist. I'm just saying that's where more brown people live. No, I said I say that and it's racist. Ah, that is true. This is very true. I, I mean, it would like be a fact. To make, I feel like I people mean, are allowed to make jokes about their own race, right? It depends about oh, the yeah. spirit of, what, of you saying it. Yeah, I, like if it's really harmful, no. Don't, don't. No, no, no. Uh, I, I personally think any level of humor should be taken with a grain of salt or a yeah, ten ton, a or a ten ton bucket of salt, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Just because of the fact that, you know, you've got to, like I said, humor is the one thing that will get everyone through things. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful about what humor you're Hey, doing. I fixed it. Yay. No, I'm having a seizure. I, I, See, I, I, I say that humor depends on the topic. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like because if it's a, if it's a group, it, a group joke, like at a summer at a uh, summer like trip I went on with a bunch of friends, we had mm-hmm. a massive joke going because in one of the hotel rooms somebody woke up to the, one of their good friends sitting on top of them with their just like looking them in the face, just going "Good morning." That's not weird at all. Uh... And so that became a giant joke for the entire trip, where every morning we would just like get up and just be like. 
Good morning. Wait, who who did that, bro? What? You don't know them, but like in November, if you start just randomly do it in like October or something, when I have my next birthday party, then uh-huh. just like start asking people uh, and just say like good morning. Who did this? People and, and oh, it's someone... isn't it? Wasn't what? her name? No. no it's... But you're just oh. gonna have to about that whole bit. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I just remember at the uh, at the original, you were uh, trying to catch the eye of her. Yes, I was. I was trying to figure out what I actually did manage to. I did actually see her. On oh, point. Cool. Wait, hold on. Is this? Never mind. What? Nothing. Nothing. Never mind. All right. <clears throat> We should probably get back to 2020. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no way. 2020 has been like a crazy year. And it oh, actually is only way. worse. That's my thing. I oh, yeah. We're not done yet. We've oh. still got six more months. Yes. We were only halfway through 2020. We still have not six months. That, we're, not, we're not halfway through yet. We've, we, we're like um, we're, we're almost we're, halfway. Yeah. I, just, I, I, have a strange, I have a strange feeling that it might get better. Might small small chance it might small chance I know but it's, 2020 I'm hopeful, is gonna be like a horrible year. But then 2021 is gonna be like an amazing year for everybody. I hope. <laughs> That's what we that said about nice. 2020. <laughs> or at true. least, or at least it'll be a good year for memes because it's 21. So that's true. That's an oh, old meme. So. A very old meme. Anyway, it's a very old meme. But like, hey, maybe. Maybe 21 will be a good team year. Maybe that, 21 that, that will be helped. the year that Fortnite comes back. Hopefully not. <laughs> no. No, that ain't no. I hope no not. It's, it's dead. Games does something There's no chance it's coming back. It's dead. It, it, it's not coming back unless the... I mean, they did get a collaboration with Travis Scott. So. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't yeah, matter. It needs to die. If it comes back, it's going to need to die again. <laughs> Minecraft needs to come back with Minecraft 2. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or Minecraft Dungeon. Ooh. Oh, speaking of which, Minecraft Dungeons came out. It's apparently really yep. good. Yeah, I, I've heard that too. I know PewDiePie said it was good. Oh, yeah, he, he did say that. Um, but yeah, 2020 has just been a bad year. You know what topic yeah. that everyone has like stopped talking about? What? Killer Hornets. Yes. Yeah, I saw uh, that too, yeah. Did you not hear about that, Tanner? Like, okay, so here's no. the, here's the oh. series of events so, here we go. from this year. January, it was World War III. Yeah. Yep. February, I don't remember. No. Was, <laughs> Corona. Wait, what? Fe- no, February no, no, was, was, um, February March. was, one of them was Australia burning. Oh, March. yeah, Australia, oh, yeah. January was Australia's on fire. February was World War World War Three. March was the coronavirus. Mm-hmm. April, April was, the sh- was see we figured this out. April was the Wait. shut-in. April was what? Uh, yeah the shut-in the shut-in. where everyone like, just April stopped. was quarantine. And May yeah. was the Hornets, and now June is all the riots and all the, the riots. Riots. Yeah, which is conveniently and our next topic. Uh, yeah, but so not I yet. Feel like now not is yet. the right time November. to move. Okay. No, not yet. Shaker. Really? We're not done. Really? Okay. I know it's gonna happen for yeah. November. I'm predicting it now. November is going to be like Donald Trump gets reelected or something like that. <laughs> oh, if he gets reelected, oh my god. That would, that would after all of this. Did you all hear about his Twitter, his Twitter stuff? Yeah. Getting what, uh, what flagged. Taking his tweets getting Wait, flagged. Let me get see, you didn't hear about it? No, I don't. I don't keep up. In, I don't keep up social media. Neither do I. I don't no. even have Twitter. But um, let me see if I can pull it up. He he got two different flags. One he when he he had uh, tweeted out that there was no way that they were going to do um, uh, mail-in ballots because there was just too much chance of a um, of a, a fraud. Yeah, of a fraud. Yeah, and uh, Twitter fact check like put a fact check flag on his account or on that tweet. Um, <clears throat> and it and seems then, like um, that is why Twitter is being investigated. Yeah, and then the Wait, second Twitter thing, which I think is right. That's not it. 
that's not it. There's more flags. Oh, no. Um, the other, the other uh, things he said, he just, uh, he, the first thing he said was, I can't stand, uh, stand back and watch this happen to a great American city in Minneapolis. A total lack of leadership. Either the very weak radical left mayor, Jacob Frey, get his act together and bring the city under control, or uh, we will send in the National Guard and get the job done right, dot, dot, dot. There's and then uh, bro, his next tweet, the wait, Guard, which it's not done. Sucked. His next oh, sorry, tweet sorry. Uh, followed it up. Which was the one that got uh, his next tweet was the one that got uh, flagged for violence. He said these really? thugs are dishonoring the memory of George Floyd, and I won't let that happen. Just spoke to the governor of Tim Walls and uh, told him that his military or that the military is with him all the way. Any difficulty, and we will uh, assume control. When the looting starts, the shooting starts. Thank you. That's true. Mm. So the shooting starts true. after the. Yo. What the... It was. It was a bit. You know, he's Trump. So, Trump. Trump has a certain. Trump he has a certain uh, ability to tick people off. Uh, he has no filter. He just says what he thinks. No. Yeah. He doesn't need a filter. Like yeah, he doesn't. He, he, doesn't he had a small loan of a million dollars. Remember? <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, I mean, in today's instance, the, the with some things that is a small loan. Think of it. I yeah. Mean, it's, like for for Trump, like the scale that he does things on, that's that's a small loan. No, I'm saying I'm saying to put like some school systems. That's a small loan. Wait, how Let's much does our school system even get? Um, the new band building costs like six million. So yeah, it costs one million. million. The the building itself costs six. So I think they get like a average budget of like ten million. I don't know. Yeah. Jesus Christ! Six million for a band building. <laughs> Yeah. Yo. Yeah. We win you, too you've many competitions. It. It's huge. I know. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> we even get plastic. We even get our own practice rooms, dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, which is amazing. Our middle school, Tanner and I, and Jackson's middle school had practice rooms in it as well, but they weren't. Yeah, because practice rooms per se. They were. They were. They were um, Small. They were the baritone and. and uh, yeah, they were no. baritone and the read rooms. <laughs> Yeah. No, so, they were rooms in which you could go into to practice. That does not mean they were practice rooms. Yes. Yeah. That that's oh. more accurate. Yeah, they were you guys stole our, you guys stole our uh, field trip money. So now y'all stole no, your y'all own just couldn't money. get enough. We we, Wait, we, really? we did nothing with your field trip money. Yeah, no, we, we did you ourselves. Guys got field trips, which kind of sucks. No, we raised we our. Neither. Yeah, so we raised our own money. Yeah, we uh, raised, we our, raised money. our money for the chips. I made a joke. Ooh, <laughs> here's another one. Joke. Elon Musk. Want a sm- Elon Musk can legitimately say he only has a small loan of a million dollars. He yes. can't, but he but owns he a rocket money. company and a car company. So, you know. But like, Didn't he make eBay or something? Or, no. Sorry, no, he made PayPal. No? Sorry. Yeah, he's co-founder uh, of PayPal. Yeah. Why did I say eBay? What the frick? <laughs> How um, did I get those <clears throat> oh Tanner, the the killer hornets. You didn't hear, hear about those, Tanner. He has muted himself. Oh boy. Anyway, uh, killer hornets. Uh, the world's largest hornets. Uh, and the two inch actually. The two inch killer dubbed the murder hornet with an appetite for honeybees. Uh, yeah, they recently were found in Washington State and California, right? Uh, I don't know. It just says uh, this just says Washington State, but they can they can kill humans with their venom. So yeah, also and they've got a sting yeah. multiple times. Right? They've got a quarter inch long uh, stinger. Even people with thick skin cannot be safe from yeah. these Yeah. So that's watch out for one. those if you live in Washington State and you're somehow listening to this podcast. Well, yeah, that's an interesting somebody. ambient noise. What? What? I, the water sloshing. Water sloshing? I don't yeah, hear it. It's like water in the background. It's not me. Where? I hear it too, but like, that's yeah. not water. Dude. Well, it could, be, it could be water, it could be wind. It sounded like water at first. All of the above. Yes. Anyway, it's water vapor. Wait, I'm gonna check the recording 
software, see if it's picking it up. I think yeah. it is, yeah. Yeah, it's picking it up. <laughs> oh, well. But when we talk, it, it dies down, so. But yeah, anyway, tr Trump's, Trump's tweet got flagged with the, this tweet violated the Twitter rules about uh, glorifying violence. However, Twitter has determined that it may be in the public's interest for the tweet to remain accessible. But yet, they're okay with Trump, they're okay with groups like Antifa putting out messages like, hey, hit this place with firebombs and don't take it down. I mean, Twitter, uh, Twitter's... Antifa. Twitter's a I, weird I don't know much about Antifa, so Twitter's I can't really speak about it. Neither. They're, they're the ones who have been saying like, oh, hey, let's go firebomb this place because we don't like it. Really? Mm-hmm. I mean, they're anti-fascist, though, so they have a good message. They're just not no. dealing with it properly? No. They they say they're anti-fascist, but yet they're the same people. They're the ones who were saying, like, we need to do this, like, destroy buildings in order to cause peace or throw bricks. Remember, I don't know if any of you read about the story of pallets of bricks arriving. They were the one who called. Yeah, no, that's not. I, yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier um, in the private conversation about like instigating the riots. Yeah. Echo. Echo. There we go. It. it didn't work. Let me mute this. There echo. Go. Echo. Go. Echo. I have not. I think we're good now. Oh, wait, I gotta. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, uh, guys, I gotta go. I've been really pushing it. Uh, I, I actually just don't look right now. Alright. Alright. See ya. Alright, bye. Alright, so back to 2020. Back Dana, to we're 2020. done. Yep. <clears throat> Such a messed up year this year has been so far. I mean, most messed up year since, like, since, like, the whole. I mean, don't say that. That's not good to say. It's just it's been a messed up year. I just spelled that out. That out, please. That's just it's been a really messed up year. Messed up year. It's been yeah. messed up. Like, it hasn't been the most sane. Let's put it that way. The apocalypse is yeah. not <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> I mean, it. Like it, there's so much hap. Like it, and I mean, even leading up to 2020, you had like fires. Um, I think there was something else. I don't remember what it was. But like, um, at least, but at least then, like people were working to uh, try to help. Uh, I went and saw like a bunch of Australian uh, YouTubers. They went in and did live streams, where they stayed up for days. Trying Apparent to get money to send to charities to help fight the wildfires. Apparently, either the U.S. Forest Service or some local or some straight up fire department just sent some, like twenty or thirty uh, hotshot crew or hotshot members to go and help fight the wildfires. If you don't know what a hotshot is, it's a it's like the special operation of firefighters. They're they're trained to put out these fires in less than a few days. Which is not always the best thing because I personally think most forest fires should burn, letting the forest clear itself of natural fuels. But that's just but my point. The difference comes when it's on on the one hand, yes, it's a good thing that's like yes, maybe the yes, it's a good thing if there's a little fire that's clearing out the you know, five feet of underbrush or something like that. But if it's like this little fire, large, gonna large clear forest out, fires, well, has now become a like statewide. Or you, you, statewide you know why fire. these fires are so bad the way they are? It's because for the past, you know, let's say fifty odd years, we've done our best to prevent them. Exactly. If we let these fires keep burning. Wouldn't we'd have a lot more fire resistant trees? You would have a lot less undergrowth and a lot less like pine needles everywhere. If you walk through a forest with someone who knows what to look for, they'll say, Yeah, this is one, this is a, a tent of fuel waiting just to explode. Because 
you don't have a proper amount of fuel on it. That's why when I see smoke coming from the forest, I'm thinking to myself, all right, that's a good sign. That means that there's fuel being removed. That means that there's this going away. That's just my point of view. And I guess it can really depend on the amount of smoke you see. <clears throat> no, no, no. Be, no? No, no. Because a forest for uh, forever has always been a naturally self-regulating thing. It's yeah. always been if there's too much fuel on the ground, uh, lightning or something will strike and it will burn it away, causing there to be pure dirt. But within the past, I can retract my number, in, let's say 70 or 80 years, we've been doing our best to put these out because we've been building so big and so wide. That's the, that's my viewpoint on it. I, I just meant uh, the amount of smoke as in, like, if there's, like, like a an acre of land that's producing smoke. It, it's not... I'm not saying it's not good for the ecosystem. It's not good for humans. Yeah. Well, I mean... If there's, like, an... It, it also point. depends where the fire is. If yeah. It's, yeah. Say, uh, in the preserve. That's bad. Because there's so many... There's a community right there. Well, not necessarily, because the preserve has some pretty good lines. For instance, they have the river within it and then they also have that massive clearing that's just dirt but which still, as like, we all know a dirt community, can't burn. A community right there mm -hmm. so they would have to monitor that and be well, careful because there's a community there well here's the thing we won't even bother monitoring it we just send a crew in instantly try and put it out that's the thing yeah but if it's maybe like in the middle of where it's like coffee county if it's like 20 square miles of forest and the very center of it there's a fire going then okay whatever yeah if there's no, so that's the thing nowadays we're so concerned about it moving and and hitting populations populated areas that we're concerned that the minute we see smoke we don't think to ourselves that's a good sign you know what we think oh my god panic yeah mm -hmm. Because we don't think of it as a natural thing. That's what I think of it as. I think of it as a very good thing. Well, and For some instance, of it isn't natural, you know, because some of it's humans. But yeah. Still. But in those cases, then it's like... They're, okay, they're they're doesn't mean, doesn't mean, it's, doesn't mean it's not bad, or it doesn't mean it's not good, but I mean, it's some of it isn't natural. If, like, the underbrush has already been burned away and there's already that soil there, yes. that new fire immediately after can actually mess up that it can scorch that area. Well, see, here's the thing. If you look at, let's take a look at California Redwoods. Do you yeah. want to know why so many people loved building houses out of them? They were fire resistant. They, they, it took them hours, if not days, to catch on fire because they'd been in an area where fires were so common. They were, sometimes they were daily. But then all of a sudden, we start moving in and putting these out. And now, the minute you put a match up to a Redwood, it's going to go up in, in a heartbeat. Just, whew. Because if you look at U.S. Forest Service studies, or you look at, um, you know, yeah, U.S. Forest Service or some fire reports, they'll say if you see smoke, don't. It, it depends on where it is, but don't always report it. And besides, you should always know how to put out a fire. That's my thing. No, if you come across a smoldering fire, you might want to put it out because then it's not currently consuming fuel, and it could be a hazard. And that's why I always think that. I, pe I think people don't realize dirt is a very good fire retardant. Yeah. Because yeah, I mean, it, if you put it, yeah, it depends on what you rock. call dirt, but yeah, like typical dirt, like the way most people think of dirt. Yeah. Dirt. Yeah. You know, Excellent. the brown soft stuff you work on. Yeah. yeah. Soil. But brown I mean, soil. My backyard, we have a small fire pit. Whatever, like mm -hmm. a bark or a piece of, like a, a burning piece of wood falls out of the fire pit. It, we have a giant pile of rocks and dirt around, so we just slide some of that over the fire, and it goes out an instant. Exactly. And, and some people don't understand the fact that fires need oxygen, but yeah. they need other stuff yeah. too. <laughs> it. If you if you knock out one of the three one of the three in the triangle, the fire is gone. Dead. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, of course, granted. Will... There's some exceptions, but for the most yeah, part, yeah. There's stuff like there's there's certain things that you can't remove from like there's certain things from which you can't remove something from the equation, like spark like an oil fire. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that too. You can't really get rid of the oil. Yeah. For instance, get rid of you, the know, you you throw a match on oil on oil, it's going to go up and it's going to burn until all the fuel is gone. Yeah. In that instance, I mean, the fire department will just let it burn itself out. And some forest fires can go the same way. They'll just let themselves burn themselves out. It depends on how big they are. Because, I mean, even some forest fires are good. Mm -hmm. um, but I wouldn't, like, it depends, like, I wouldn't let them go on for, like, months and months and months. No, no, no. Maybe, maybe, maybe half a month, two weeks. I mean, yeah, there's there's very certain points. The the forest starts making much clear. Yes, like mm -hmm. if if it gets to the point where the fire ends up endangering uh, people, people, yes. like, then that's when you have to like, or it ends up like to where it looks like it's about to surround a populated area, or if it's about to get too close to a popular campsite or something like that. That's when you need to take care of it or figure out what to do then. If it's, and I would say something if, that... If it's in the middle of, you know, 50 miles of... Timber. Forest, yeah. If it's in the middle of 50 miles of forest, then it doesn't really matter because most likely no one's going to be there because it's 50 square miles of forest. Then we can just, you know, still pay attention to it to make sure it's not suddenly going to burn down all the area around it, but you know, I always laugh when a fire comes around because everyone's like, what about the animals? Well, the animals know when to run. Yeah, yeah. They've, they've experienced this before. It's not new. No. <clears throat> and in fact... It's not, like they look at it, it's not like they look at it and be like, what dark sorcery is this? Yeah, it's not Everybody like us it. where we look at it and we panic. No. They look at it and say, oh, let's go this way instead. Yeah, we need, we need to leave. I mean, yeah. animals, they do let's panic, but not in the way that we panic. They don't panic they panic so that they can get out, not yes. panic. Oh my gosh, something's <laughs> happening. Like, get rid of everything. Everything is bad. They Even just kind of go. Panicking. <laughs> you know, there's a there's a large ball of fire, and it's very slightly hot in this area. We probably should leave. Yeah, let's just do that. That looks bad. I'm gonna go this way. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that does not look. That's not a good. Oh. There's a the tree that I'm sleeping in is on fire. That's <laughs> not a sign. Let's leave. Exactly. I'm in danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> there's humans. So there's like there's there's animals who go. I'm in danger. I need to leave. Then there's humans. I'm in danger. I'm gonna freak out. But I'm gonna stay here because I don't want to leave. I'm okay. For some reason. Oh, I want to ask a question. What would be your extent of a hurricane before you would leave? Like, if it's, uh, if it's like a full on five, then I'd probably. Okay. Leave. But I mean, like a one at least, like, I, I, I might want to experience a tropical storm because, I mean, I like. It depends I've been on through one. How bad it is. Because I, I, like, I like thunder and I like rain. I think it would yeah, be oh, it's interesting calming. to live through. If it's like a level yeah. one or something, or it, it, if it was a level one when it hit land. See, oh, and now it's like going away. Then I'll just be like, I'm good. Or, or, or any of you like me that when you hear the tornado starting, you just kind of think, eh, so what? I mean, no, I, I get, I get excited. I like, I, yeah, exactly. Fires. I get excited. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay, it's, 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 it's always a little bit worried. I mean, I'm not I, like, I mean, I mean there's, there's precautions, and it's like, I mean, I, my family has a basement, so I mean, it's, yeah. it's just interesting. Like, it's just, it's just, Let's as long as it's the first Wednesday of the month, you always know you're fine. And if it's not, well, then you begin to panic. Watch it be on the first Wednesday of the month that just like some tornado comes in, tornado siren turns on, and everybody thinks it's a test. So everyone's just like, oh. No, I, I think in that instance, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I think in that instance, you know. Um, for instance, I think there's a tornado coming in. Yeah, I think in that instance, you know. For instance, I think it's blue sky tornado, or is it the blue sky tornado or green sky tornado? One of the two. If you see one or the other, then you go in panic. Hold on. Yeah. Tornado. Is it before? Uh, green does in green. Yeah, green is the warning sign that large hail or tornado may be present. So if a green sky is ever present, then it's going to be a hail storm and tornado. 
there's another thing I kind of want to talk about. What? Um, and it sort of ha- ties in with 2020. The rest of 2020. How do you think, like, going back to school and, like, trying to recover from coronavirus, how do you think that's going to go? Well, first off, we're going to come back to school and be like, I haven't seen you since the plague. <laughs> well, I, I, I think in the whole aspect of school, I think it's what it's going to be is parents are going to... I think parents are going to start not sending their children to school if they can't, or if they can. Like, if you have no classes so that require you to be there, then I feel like the parents won't send their children to school. That's well, I would say if they have a way, if the schools have a way to make it so that it's safe enough to where um, they're going to there's a point where they're going to make it mandatory to come back to school and do it in person because oh, yeah. it, it was it is really hard to do e-learning and make it well i mean uh, the, like the, to get through a whole curriculum electronically and then also have to use up a whole hour every day with your students in person that's just going to be difficult well i, I think there are people who enjoyed the whole online learning and if they did I mean, then i think those should be the ones who hold on i think those should be the ones who are doing uh, the at home online schooling because those are the ones who liked it, those are the ones who could do it, those are the ones who should be doing it at home and not putting more people back in the school. Well, but those people are gonna like this is just one point uh, that I have. Um, the those people that are doing it, they're gonna end up probably having to take another year of that grade to get through all of their curriculum to have what they need to go to the next grade. I don't cause... know. I mean. That that's not necessarily true. I, I feel like you could get through your entire curriculum on it depends on online. the class. Like history, for instance. History, history, you can get through it. We got through with Walker. Walker was a great teacher. Yeah. Um. Um. Because like you can, you can do tests online, you can do exams online, you can do everything online. There's no, it's not impossible to do it. No, but, but like that's the, the resources that students have, part of like you can't. You know, there's some things you can't. Do. You have to find. It's, it's that's what I'm saying. The, yeah. the students who have the resources and the ability to should do it. If they enjoy the online schooling, they should take that to their advantage. That's the way I see it. Well, the thing is, it might be too hard on their teachers to offer the um, e-learning well, I mean, in in uh, commu- in combination with the other normal. I, I don't think that's true. Because most teachers already use Google Classroom, so they're already uploading most of their assignments digitally. And also, a lot of teachers already record some of the stuff they go over in case if people were absent that day. So, yeah, but I mean, like, taking everything you have, like, not, like, you have to grade essays and stuff electronically. You have to, um, it's hard to communicate with, it's semi-hard to communicate with students. Um, you've well, got the only thing having, to, having to transfer everything that you have from your paper copies to your computer copies and then be able to read them properly. Well, see, um, and, and that's why I think all the curriculum should be specifically online because in that instance, you wouldn't have to deal with the whole aspect of why well, I gotta type this and print it, but then type it and um, uh, and then put it online. Because like all the tests that you, if you use online testing, it's going to automatically grade it. It's going to automatically give you a grade no matter what. Um, the only thing you'd really have to grade, which would be a pain, would be something like uh, an essay, like you said. That's the only thing. Mm-hmm. I just think, like, not necessarily the grading process, but the process of making the assignments available online. Because, I mean, yeah. like, I, I'd say one of the biggest um, parts of it would be, like, labs for science, where you've got all the kids um, in your classroom that have. Um, the proper materials to do it and the people who, who will have to make it up but they can still do it in person and, see, and then you've got you could do online it. you've got to find a, an alternative for it well what you could do is you could just make the lab aspect of it required to be there yeah I guess, like, yeah. I, I, it, it wouldn't be the whole aspect of well you know I don't want to do this because it wouldn't allow them no you're a teacher you can say you can do everything but the labs online. You just have to be here the days of the lab. I, I still think that there would be some teachers, or not some teachers, some parents that are just like, 
like there's some parents that are going to be like, well, you're spending too much time on your device. You need to get off and do something else. And then the kid's not going to end up getting all their assignments in and they're going to, the kid's going to ruin their, um, or the parents are going to ruin their kid's grade. Well, uh, you see, that, that's not going to be a common thing. It's going to be pretty rare, but I oh, yeah. think it's a possibility. And, and those are probably the parents who would actually make their children go to school in this aspect. But mm -hmm. The ones that want, the ones that watch their kids go through the whole um, quarantine thing would be the ones who are just like, do you want to do this online or do you want to do this in person? Those would be the parents who ask that. And not so, not so much just be like, go to school, go, get, get out of my house. That's I mean, my new point. I would want to go. You would? Yeah. Because I'd prefer yeah. to, it, it would, I'd, I'd just think it's going to be easier for me to be at school. I need a, an allocated. Yeah, it's it's a lot easier for me to work when I have an allocated um, part of my day to do my work. And, and and not to mention, there's also classes that are like in person dedicated, like um, RC three. You know, you, no, not so much Walker. I mean, it was most of his stuff it was it was a lot nicer to have it in person because then you could have your discussions. Um, it was a really entertaining class. Um, yeah, I guess. I mean, the, the weird discussions, or at least my class had weird discussions, like, um, my class was the first in the morning, snorting, so. snorting, uh, snorting gunpowder, um, gunpowder. Yeah. Hold up. She looked it up Hold and she's up. like, she said, um, apparently y'all know, Tana, you know, dated her. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, but, not uh, right she, uh, she said, um, she looked it up because we were talking about the thing with the, um, what were they called? Um, the ones who got upset about the um, ripping the gunpowder stuff off with their teeth, with the oh, um, priest. the Indian troopers, yeah, yeah. Um, they were called sepoys, and the sepoy mutiny. Yeah, those people. Um, Raja. They, I don't know. It started with a B, I think. Wrong. Um, mm. I don't remember what they were called, but um, like she she was going on that, and she's like, well, what if they sniffed some up? And then she looked it up, and she's like, "It like she apparently what she from what she found, snorting gunpowder would have the same effect as snorting cocaine." Kind of true. Is Josiah fact checking real quick? Apparently, it's called brown brown, and brown brown is a purported form of cocaine or amphetamine insufflation mixed with smokeless gunpowder. This powder often contains nitroglycerin, a drug prescribed for heart conditions, which might cause vasodilation permitting the cocaine or amphetamine insufflation to move more freely through the body. So yeah. Random info. Yay. Spelled Y A. To spite Harry Potter. <laughs> we had this big conversation on it. Uh, oh, during yeah. Walker's class and English one day. So it was, it was that's, interesting. Okay, that's then. not weird at all. Okay. <laughs> it was entertaining now. Um. But it, like that sort of thing, like those kinds of conversations, and plus, I'd like to see my friends in person. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I'd be the one who would want to go because of the fact that, like I said, if you, there's physical, like for instance, if you're taking like, if you have like a trade aspect of your school, like we yeah, do, yeah, yeah, that requires you to be there. It's not so much the whole aspect of oh, you can do like your trade, yeah, your server innovations, you can do all of it online. Because it's all already online. Well, it's like, ish. like there's some things that they would need to teach you in person. I think for like IT people and like the people in the IT part of the RC3. Um, but like yeah, for Tanner, yours, uh, you can you don't need to be there. Or no, you do need to be there. Sorry. Yeah, I was gonna say um, we, we, we got need it. yeah. Like you can do a fair bit of your learning online, but you need to be there for. A fair bit of just it. Just about everything else. Yeah. You could maybe maybe do a very small portion online. Yeah. Like maybe do your like I don't know. You need to get like y'all y'all have to y'all will probably have studying and tests, so you could probably do those yeah. online. But I mean like for like in person, like so show me how to do this. You need to know how to do this. Show me how to do this. Yeah. That's gonna be really yeah. difficult to do. Video. Almost yeah. impossible to do in person. Or video video. Video, you could do that, but might not 
Well, the, well, the problem well, with that is the people don't there's have certain access aspects. To fire trucks. No, look, okay. Yeah. I just realized, like, my hair is just like so long. Look at this. <laughs> you should see mine. I have pictures of mine that I sent to Harry Potter. Um. Oh, there's something else I want to tell you all after this that was okay. a mistake yesterday, and it was hilarious. Okay. Um, oh boy. It was hilarious. Long story short, I sent a baby picture to a random friend instead of Harry Potter. But, um, let me see if I can find it. Um, here it is. Um, my hair was this long. This was after I showered. And it, it was down right to my nose. All the time. That's what? how long my hair normally is. Maybe a little longer than that. But, like, like my hair now doesn't reach past my eyes. Like it's this long now. Yeah. It doesn't reach that far. I got I got it past my nose. It's like almost my Yeah. Hair. Well you have long hair. Yours reaches the entire way. That hair flip though. That hair flip though. <laughs> we need to get a gif. A gif of Jackson flipping his hair back and forth. This way. And just a meme on the group chat. <laughs> Actually, I could make that. Hold on. Do it. Do it. Then send it on the group chat and see uh, how many people will, I guess, wait for people to listen to this and understand. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how long? So, what going? do y'all think? The what? How long have we been going? Um. But uh, the. So, what do y'all think um about? how it's going to be the people that do go back to school. I think it's going to be normal. I mean, I mean, it could be normal. I've heard that, like, you know, the CDC guide- guidelines for how, if this is still yeah. how things are then, like, six feet apart I mean, desks. Um, there's there's see, tons of things. If that's the case, then it's going to be a whole, a whole lot harder. And, and that's why I personally think the more of you clap. Jackson, uh, they no, have... there was a spider running around on the floor, so I whacked it with a shoe. Ah, very good. Oh. Um, Pause. I, I, I think the whole aspect of, you know, putting desks six feet apart, well, a desk that measures two and a half by, let's say, four foot long, or four feet long, that's not a small desk. That's that. That's no. It's and, yeah. It can be really hard to spread desks you, you, out that you, far. You'd be lucky to get away with about half your average class. You'd be every lucky. Every teacher would have to have a full schedule. Every teacher would have to have a class every period. Yes. Yeah. And and, and they couldn't be full length classes. They have to be probably closer to thirty minutes. That's the which you know some aspects yeah. of a smaller class would be more beneficial for some kids. Well, um, it's more beneficial, but when you have to put more of them into one period, into one segment, and mm-hmm. teachers would get tired a lot quicker, and yeah, they would, they, which would mean and, that it would be hard for the kids at the end of the day to learn as much, and because they would probably the get really snappy. Fed up. The teachers would be like fed up by that point, and just like teachers would be ready. But to like, smack the, like I'm gonna look up real quick the CEC guidelines for going back to school. Because, like, groups like band, you already are pretty much, for, for marching at least, you're already oh. six feet apart, four, back, left, and right. Well, but for the rest of the football games, that's going to be a nightmare if we have to uh, social distance. Nah, we wouldn't have to do yeah. that. That would be way too hard. We'd have to yeah. the entire bleachers. That would, it would but, either be we go or we don't go. That would be how it is. It wouldn't be, oh... We're gonna bring this oh, out, and then we're gonna be you either go or you don't go because it's too hard to break the band up into groups and send them that way. It's either send the entire band or don't send the band. So these these are some of the things that the CDC is recommending, I believe. Um, I think I can find it. This is consideration. Um, never mind. I can't find it. There was like a list that my uh, one of my parents found. It was like six feet apart. You have to wear masks. 
Um, it was there was all sorts of things. See, if, if you're gonna make me wear a mask, I'm gonna buy a gas mask. That's why I see it. <laughs> I would love to see you come to school in a gas mask tanner. You want to? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna arrive at carpool and go <laughs> to the lunchroom and I'm gonna see a gas mask and be like that that's tanner. Mm-hmm. That that's tanner. I, I, if they're gonna make me wear a mask, I'll, I'll, I'll drop the 60, 70, 100 bucks. I'll probably. Harry, I'll Potter, buy got a, a, Harry Potter got a Harry Potter mask. Nerd. <laughs> I mean, Tanner, that's the pot calling the kettle black. Or stainless steel or whatever I color mean, it is. You got a point. <laughs> I, I, I'm not, I'm whatever. not disagreeing whatever with you. I'm not disagreeing with you now, am I? I mean, he no, got you're not. a point, though. Ooh. I've been wearing a mask that has constellations on it. I'm, I'm, I haven't gotten a mask yet. I have I, I have one that's... Um, I don't remember where I put it. Yeah. See, the um, only downside about a gas mask is, is the filters cost so much. And, you know, if the, so, if the school makes you take it off. Then in that case, I'm going to say they're putting me in danger. <laughs> no, they're just going to end up handing you a paper mask. Like I'll, I'll the, say that's or cloth mask. I'll say that's not good enough for me, I'll, and I'll say that my parents require me to wear a gas mask. I would. And we'll send you home. I mean, I make just because I, I mean, these schools have schools. issues with people yes. wearing hats. Yeah. These schools have people issues with people wearing hats. They're going to have a big issue with you wearing a gas mask. But I want to see it anyways. If they're gonna, if they're gonna make us. If they're gonna make us wear masks, then let Tanner, us decide what type of mask. I can I can imagine like um a, like a principal coming over in the mornings during carpool and saying, "Hey," tapping you on the shoulder, and then you just look up and it's just gas mask face. You just look up, like because you, you can't see the emotion behind the gas mask, okay. so it's just like blank face gas mask, just staring back at the yeah. Just, are you my mommy? No, get, get get one of the ones that has the whole hood and everything, not just the mask. The hood. Yeah. And oh, all that. yeah, like the Plague Doctor mask? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You know, yes. I'm saying, like, the ones that were used in the 50s, you know, you got the square eyes, the boxy filter and all that, and, oh, all, yeah. and the hood, and it's like, you can't wear that. Then you're putting me <sighs> at danger. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah. take, taking really, really deep breaths. All I'm saying, though, is if we did bring, if we did institute masks in school, then uh, we would have a, some. We'd have a lot less problems with PDA because. Uh, oh God, you uh, there, there was a you don't have masks for your hands, where, Jackson. What? No, I'm not talking. About I would that. say I would say for or at least like yeah, high kids are a lot more handsy than they are facey. Well, for some no, no, a lot of them are more handsy than anything else. Yeah. Okay, but there are still those people. Like, uh, there was a period of time where you couldn't walk through the band room in eighth period without seeing this one couple making out in the corner. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I'm talking about more stuff like, you know, Jackson, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna bleep this part out, but this, you remember what happened to in eighth grade? Or did you hear, did you not hear about that? Did, um, did you hear about that? I don't know. So it was, um, one uh, guy came up, I believe, yeah, I think this was, a, it was, a guy came up during PE and I don't some it was too she didn't say who well like our I'm confused I am very confused now because there's like nine ah okay I've yeah. been I'm I confused because there's too many that's what I was told systems. that's what I was told happened um but, yeah. What was that, Jack? So yeah, handsy, handsy people. Yes. Yeah. What do you What do you want us to do? Walk around in cuffs? <laughs> I mean, like <laughs> cuffs that cuffs that keep your hands by your side. Half people keep going around. Am I being detained, sir? <laughs> No, I hate I hate sovereign citizens so much. Yeah, the, the type of people are just like, am I being detained? I've told you nine times now. Yes, you're being detained. What? <laughs> what? Well, am I being detained, dude? I just sat there and told you, yes, you are being detained. Why? I don't know. Maybe because you ran four red lights and almost hit two people. 
I wonder why. You know, there are people who genuinely believe that traffic laws aren't actual laws. Yep. That's kind of stupid. Those are called sovereign citizens. Yep. And if if any of you, anyone wants to go in law enforcement, I would gladly, gladly laugh at you the next time you tell me, yeah, I met someone who said that they, uh, they don't believe in traffic law. I would say, you got yourself screwed, my friend. Because <laughs> those people are so annoying. They're the type of people who sit there and go, what are you doing, officer? I'm asking for your license. I don't need a license to drive. Yeah, uh, you do. It's in that handbook. Oh, sir. It specifically says, you may not drive without your license sorry. on you or in the vehicle. They're, they're not driving. They're traveling. Sorry. I gotta, I gotta get that correction done. Sorry. <sighs> You don't need your license to travel. You need it to drive. Yeah. Yeah, but here's the thing. When you're traveling behind the wheel, putting the get, adding to the gas, you're using the brake, and you're turning, shifting. That That's idea. called driving. Exactly. People are trying to say, no, that's traveling. No, that's driving, my friend. All, all, most forms of transportation that don't involve moving your legs back and forth over and over again you need a license for boating, motorcycling, um, flying. Flying, <laughs> yeah. I mean, bicycling, you would have to move your legs back and forth. So, using a boat, you gotta have a license for boat. Yeah. Oh, all the way, or also, uh, off the podcast, Tanner, are you doing summer courses this year? Yeah, help. Nope. Yeah, I am too. Which, what, what are you doing first? I'm doing health first, I think. Oh, I'm just doing health. Oh, I'm doing health and driver's ed. So I get I'm a... Well, ed. Apparently, if I pass, I get a boating license, too. So. Okay. Well, see, driver's my, ed, mom, a, my mom a, talked to her insurance agent and said that it would make no difference whether or not I did driver's ed because the fact that, you know, you can't... Well, first off, the odds of you actually getting them are, what, 50-50? You're actually mm-hmm. getting the license. Well, no. Well, it's going to driver's ed, but, like, you can then, once you turn the proper age, like, once I turn 16 after driver's ed, I can just go get my license. Um, but it's not, there's not a full chance that I'll get to drive. And, and, that, and, that's, and that's my thing. If you're not from, if you're not guaranteed the driver's ed and I have to take the test and all that, then I'm not going to do it. There's no point. Mm-hmm. There's, that's my thing. I'm doing it in the hopes that I will get, because at least my parents are saying stuff like, at least if you don't, like, they're hoping that I'll get to drive, which is why I did the later uh, semester of it. Um, but even if oh. I don't, I'll have more knowledge on it. Yeah. Well, see, from, from what I've heard is you have to schedule time to uh, drive, which for me, it's just, no, that, that, that makes no sense. If you're having to schedule time... To drive. Oh, well, you have to schedule a, dri- a time to drive, not with your family, but with the instructor. That, that's what I'm getting at. For me, there's no point in doing that. If you're going to make me schedule time, I'll just go to my family and say, hey, can you take me out for a drive? That, that's my thing. I, I don't see the point in that. Well, no, that, that, would, that would be one of your tests. The driving. Well, it's, it's, it's not just so you can get used to driving. It's so that they're testing you on your driving. No, no, no. It's yeah. just to get used to driving. That's all driver's ed is. The, the, when you take no, the test, it, yes, it is. When you take the test, it's so you can get the card to bypass the test, but you still have to take the driving test at the DMV. You don't bypass yeah. it. That, that's my thing. If I'm not guaranteed a card and I have to schedule an appointment, there's no point. Mm. And also, it's not the same route you'd take at the DMV, because when you're doing it through the high school, they're going to take you through uh, Russet Woods. They're going to take you through that back neighborhood. So they're going to drive you through there instead of, you know. Interesting. Yeah, it, you're not guaranteed the license, and you're also only doing it just to gain the time and the experience. Mm-hmm. It's not even to pass the test. Besides, 
it, it, the test cannot be that hard. No, it can't. No, yeah. No. Like, I mean, think about some of the people who are driving now. Exactly. First, like, at first, I passed my learning permit test with only maybe two and a half hours of studying. And even then, it was just me clicking through the answers, just to try and get it done. Like, it was not hard. It is not hard. Like, most of the questions I got were, what does the yellow diamond usually indicate? Yeah. Railroad, or no. Yeah, it's railroad, isn't it? It's warning. Yellow diamond is Something caution. Something like that? Yellow diamond is caution. Yeah. Caution warning is the same thing. They or counts as the same thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What what does the white rectangle shape sign indicate? Hmm. I think Ow. it indicates to stop. You no? Know? I think that's what it means. No, it it's like I, I, anyone who's ridden with their parents knows what these signs mean. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's my thing. Well, what is the red octagonal yeah. sign? What is, what is the red octagonal with white lettering mean? Stop. Dude, I looked into stop signs to the board. Apparently, they can, some stop signs are up to 48 and uh, 60 inches wide. Wow. A 60 inch stop sign. That is big. That, yeah. That's like this, almost that's like small, just barely smaller than me. Like the that's, standard. That's five feet. Yeah. That's a five yeah. foot tall stop sign. I'm five and I'm five six. Yeah. So. All it's 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 five feet on from side to side to side. It is five feet all the way around. That is mm-hmm. a big stop sign. Yes. You know what to use it for? The interstate. But wait a minute. I've never seen one on the interstate. <laughs> Why would you I need that on the interstate? interstate? It's huh? called the interstate for a reason. Yeah, you're, you're not you're, you're not supposed to slow down on the interstate. If you're slowing down on the interstate, because you've got call access. Right. Usually There's one last down. one last thing I want to ask y'all before, uh, like on the podcast before we what? should probably end it. Um, if y'all have the ability to go back to school next year, will you? Yes. Yeah. Me too. That's my thing. And yeah. so I'm guessing that's the end of the podcast. Mm-hmm. It was very interesting. Yeah. Um, talked about a lot of random stuff. Uh, yeah. And from uh, riots to favorite foods. Uh, kind of random, but I guess that's the end. So. Peyton's haircut, his buzz yeah. cut. <laughs> yeah. We managed to talk about that somehow. Uh, so, basically, like if you like the like if you liked our podcast, just like if you feel like, like it. I'd like to. I'd like it if we could get to fifteen subscribers soon. Now let's push it. Let's get twenty likes. Come oh. on, guys, we can do it. Tanner, how dare you? A video? No, <laughs> Tanner, don't Tanner. You're gonna push it. You're gonna jinx it. Hey, hey. <laughs> no, we ain't getting. We, 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 we gotta try. We gotta try for it, guys. Come on. You can get it. <laughs> I, I don't think we'll make it to five, to be honest. No. You, you, you gotta push it. Come on, guys. You gotta try. <laughs> be, po- be positive, you know, because that's what all you tell me constantly. And they never stop hearing about it. Come on, Tanner. Be positive. I when do we say that? <laughs> I think we imply it. Yeah, it's implied and it's oh, very okay. annoying. <laughs> there we go. That one should be. Okay. All right. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so my mind for maybe like five minutes, and then if you guys have any remarks, then go ahead. Okay. So basically, here's my thoughts on the situation. Wait, we got to introduce it. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. So yeah. This is our I next mean, topic. It really need uh, any introduction? George so. Floyd and the riots. Um, yeah. Okay. So let me start off with George Floyd. Mm-hmm. The the murder of George Floyd was undoubtedly like wrong. It was it was morally immoral. It was immoral. It was it was stupid. It shouldn't have happened. Like kneeling on someone for seven minutes should not be a thing. <laughs> and. Yeah, it, it was probably racially motivated. I'm not going to lie. It it seemed like it was. And, like, it shouldn't have happened. Like, the three cops that were standing by, they should have done something. 
um, the cop that kneeled on him should receive, like, really bad punishment to the fullest extent of the law. Um, uh, what else? And the first doctor with the autopsy, like, he gave really vague answers. He didn't even, like, say what happened, like, why he died, which is the job of the autopsy, by the way. And the riots, okay, my opinion on the riots is, like, um, it shouldn't happen. Like, it's not ideal, but I understand if it does. Because, like, this is such a, like, it's been so pent up for so long. I would understand why there's, like, a violent eruption, you know? Like, I con- I don't condone it, but I wouldn't mind if, like, the big cor- corporations got, like, looted and stuff. But the small corporations, like the local businesses and, like, even some homes, like, that's that's kind of messed up, man. Like, even that is too far. Because the big corporations, they can rebuild. Like, the argument is that, yeah, lives cannot be brought back, but property can. And I understand that. But, like, the small, the small companies can't really do that easily. Uh, like, the big ones. Like, like, big corporations, right? So... I don't condone the smaller ones. And the peaceful protests are ideal. Like, I, those are what I stand for. But, um, what else? What else was I going to say? Like, when cops instigate the, uh, peaceful protests, that's when I have a problem with it. Because, like, they shoot for no reason. Like, every person has a right for a protest. As long as it's, like, organized with the government, I, I think. I'm not too sure. Um, don't take my word for it. I mean, it's, um, it's just freedom of speech. Freedom of speech, too. Like, yeah. we also have the right to overthrow our government if it's made an injustice. Like, that is in the Constitution itself. Written in 70, 1776, I think. Or some, sometime around that. It was made 220 or 244 years ago. It's, it still stands to this day. You know? And... Sorry, that's me drinking from my cup of water. Um, and, like, speaking of which, it, this country is 20, 220, 244 years old. Like, the fact that it had to, we had to wait for so long for this to be corrected, it's kind of, like, it's, it's bad. It, like, 244 years is a lot of time. Like, we got rid of slavery. That's amazing. We got rid of um, segregation. That's even better. But now we got to get rid of racism, like in general, we got to get rid of like police brutality with racism, just racism in general, you know, I will say that it's not going to be possible for us to completely eradicate racism. Yeah, yeah. Like there will be small cases, but like violent, like big ones like these, like in the um, in the case of George Floyd should be gone. Like it's it's just bad. And like parents out there, raise your children, right, please. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yes. <laughs> Make them not racist, please. I'd appreciate it. I mean, because like, I mean, judging... my grandmother's uh, mother was extremely racist. Apparently, from what I've heard, uh, she, you know, used like she would use racial slurs. Um, she just is racist. Um, mm-hmm. but my grandmother's, she wasn't nearly as racist as her mother. Um, mm-hmm. and then. Uh, my dad is almost not at all. Yeah. I mean, for me personally, like 10 years ago, way back when I was in like kindergarten, uh, I had two best friends. One was Tanner and one was an African-American kid. And yeah, I mean, I, none of us saw any problem with that. And, and I mean, Yug, no Yug has been my best, one of my best friends for five years almost. And yeah. he's African-American. I mean, yeah, so, like I feel like our generation is a lot better. Yeah, than the last. We're quote unquote woke. And I think um, part, of, and I'm not saying this is the case for everyone, but for some people, uh, some people expect there to be racism. I'm not saying they're wrong in that. Um, because yeah. in some cases there are racist people, but uh, some people expect it, so they only see what they expect. And there's always going to be racist people out there. I mean. You've got like things like the KKK and stuff like that. There's always going to be racist people out there, but yeah. do your part to make it less racist. <laughs> you don't. And also, but also, like, but, go ahead. 
uh, you personally don't be racist, but also uh, don't expect other people to be racist. Yeah, don't yeah. be fine like, with give them much- in, like, don't, don't condone it. Don't condone like, it. Yeah. There, okay, as a brown person myself, there are a lot of people who really, like, how do I say this? They, a lot of my brown friends, they use, like, black culture, like, saying the N-word. That's not okay. No. Um, like, people <laughs> in Atlanta that I know that are brown. Um, I know, like, some people who say the N-word, and, like, in, like, in light of recent events, they've stopped saying it. Like, they respect the death of George, George Floyd. Like, call them out on it. Call them out on using the N-word. Like, call your family out on being racist, your friends out on being racist. It's yeah, I've not... done it to my parents before. Like, hey, that was racist. Don't don't yeah. say that. <laughs> They're like, no, it yeah, wasn't. Yeah, like, like, yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, and the thing is, like, um, in the words of Logan Paul, which I never thought I would quote this guy, <laughs> uh, it's not good enough to be not racist. You have to be anti-racist. That's, like, the best way to say it. Okay. I, I I didn't know that was a quote. Cool. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's basically the thought. All right, we should be good again. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. So, do you guys have any remarks on anything I said? Not really. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, it was not really. <laughs> I mean, six. I will say, I don't. I haven't heard much about the incident. I know it's a big thing, and I've heard like I know that he was uh, that he he died. He was uh, killed. I don't know the circumstances um, besides that he was like robbing or looting or something. I think allegedly. No, we, I, we I don't. don't think so. uh, it was a small. You no, know? that's just, all we know. Oh. The video but, just like, shows the police officer uh, choking him to death. Uh, yeah. that's, like, that's the only thing I know about it. Then he was killed by a police officer. Seven minutes, by the way. Seven minutes. How do you expect that man to breathe, bro? Like, he I mean, he literally said, "I cannot breathe." He he said it himself. He can't breathe. I, the pol- well, if you couldn't breathe, you can't talk. Just gonna say yeah. that if you can't breathe, then you're not able to talk. Well, well I mean, you can, you can like exhale, and you can like no, kind of... like if like proper not breathing, like oh, choking. Yeah. Is like you can't talk. Yeah. Like this. Like he was. He was still, still losing oxygen. Yeah. Like. Yeah. He was losing it. Yeah. He was using all of his power. You could see him struggling to say those words. Like, and I mean, like even like someone will have their face red from that, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's. It's restricting I mean, it's blood flow and the air. It. It's like see with like, uh, with more melanin, you can't really see that easy. That's true. So. Yeah. Yeah, so still. Being choked, he, he, he said he couldn't breathe. And, like, the other cops were still restraining him on his arms. So he he couldn't have gotten away. So getting yeah. on his neck was unreasonable. It is the police's duty to protect people, not kill them. Which I which well, is scary. Because and it's the, yeah, there's, wait, wait. there's cops out there who, like, there's, there's two types of cops. There's, you know, good cops and bad cops. That's... Yeah. Cliche, but there, there's good cops yeah. and bad cops. There's there's cops that like the it's the difference is like some cops know how to handle their power and others abuse it. Yeah. Yeah. See, I believe there are good cops out there. It's just that the bad ones define it. We are not talking about the good cops and the bad cops. We are defining the entire organization as a whole. They hold so much power. It's insane. And well, but the thing is, we can't like. We can't just define them by, like, maybe a third of yeah. them. We yeah, you have no, to take into consideration. We have, to, we have to now. Like, now is the right time. Because there were so well, many injustices in their system. Like, we need to hold people accountable, yes. But don't pin the blame for so- stuff like this on the good cops. Yeah. Because yeah. good cops, like, and that's just not fair to them. It's Yeah, it's not, it's not fair for them. See, we need to have, yeah. like, okay, so we have the president here, right? He gets to choose who his who his bodyguard is, right? Mm-hmm. He gets a screening. He gets to know that person. He gets to know that he will not abuse his power. But we, mm-hmm. we the public, the people, we don't get to do that. That's that's also like I know it's going to be a time taking process. Like it's not easy to select every single officer out there. But still, well, the fact I don't that think we, that, like, I don't think that's a good idea. Just because, I mean. Say there's someone out there who wants to become a police officer. It's not 
yes, it's political, but it's not nearly as political as the things that are like the the Secret Service, like the president's bodyguards. Those are selected, yeah, by him because they're he's they're selected like they're protecting him only. It's if you have to go through that process of because I mean you've got to no. think the number of police officers to the number of politicians. There's a lot more yeah, police let me, officers. Let me reword what I said. I I meant to say sure. something else, or I said something. Sure. I said what I said wrong. Um. Let me like we need to not rechoose our government, like not rechoose our body, like as in the police organization, but we mm-hmm. do need to get a screening on everyone, like see if they're. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like yeah, you uh, understand what I mean? Okay. Yeah, hold people accountable. Yeah. Yeah, that that that. Like that thing. the guys of pre the police officers that were involved in the uh in George Floyd's killing, I mm-hmm. think they're all. They've all been to court, and I think they're all in prison now. Mm-hmm. I don't know for certain, but I know they all went to trial. That's, I don't know if that's good. Like, it's nice I mean, to know we call them out on it. Well, but still, I, like that, we can't just stop there. Yeah. As in, yeah, like, not that's the first further, step. Like, Someti- that's the first, first step. step. Yeah. Sometimes, though, I will say from just uh, from seeing some uh, just from other stories and that I've seen is sometimes it isn't the police that are instigating it. Sometimes mm-hmm. the, um, sometimes it's the people that want it. Uh, sometimes there's, there's even one, three parties. Yeah. There's one example. Yeah. Of these uh, three guys went up to police officers and uh, basically uh, started insulting them and uh, just constantly talking trash about them threatening them on and on and on, uh, threatening to come for them, their families, and the police could have retaliated, but they didn't. They just... See, the, that that's, that's the but, thing I have a problem with. Like, people... Yeah, and sometimes like, that's the case. People do that, yeah. and when the police retaliate to that, the people flip out and lose their minds. I'm not saying that's the case all the time, but... Yeah, it's, it's, it's rare. I will say... The public it is very aware that this is an issue. Because, I mean, if you look at Reddit, there are a lot of really popular subreddits devoted to making these things known, like Entitled Parents. There's all sorts, like, there's, um, I'm trying to think, um, I Don't Work Here, Lady. There's, um, I think there's, I'm trying to think, there's other ones that are, like, more um, politicized. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sure yeah, Reddit in general, like yeah, it's, it's such a big platform. It has to, it has to be like political. Yeah, it has, mm-hmm. it has like, it doesn't have the responsibility, but it does have the privilege to be political. Mm-hmm. And it has the ability to make stuff known. Yes. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I want to end my time here on this podcast by um a situation that uh another famous person like that is somewhat related to Logan Paul. Um, do you know who King Batch is? Oh, yeah. King who? King he's Batch. He's a Viner. He, yeah, he used to be Viner, and he's YouTube now. Um, yeah. he made a statement about this. Like, he says, most people don't, like, they mm-hmm. understand that there's racism, but most people don't live it. Most people don't understand what it's like to be in the other side of that racist, like, stuff. Like, he gave an example, like, a simple traffic stop. And, like, being pulled over for a small thing. His friend, who is an African-American, he was flailing around, and he was terrified. King Batch was terrified because he, 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 how do I explain this? He didn't know that his friend never went through, like, the other side of racism. Like, he knew that his friend could do that. Like, if he was in the, if King Batch was in the driver's seat, and he was black, he couldn't be able to do that. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just small things like that that could erupt into huge things because of racial prejudice and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just, like, you never know what it's like until you live it. So, so you, you kind of have yeah. to see it. No matter who you are, you have to see it from the other side. I mean, mm-hmm. if you're breaking into someone's business, see it from their point of view. If you like are, it's a lucky bird. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that too. Like, if you're, like, think about things from other people's perspective. 
think about walk around in their shoes. Yeah, walk, Mm -hmm. climb in their shoes and walk around for a few minutes. Walk around in their skin. Anyways, think about how their life is. Like maybe they do have it better off than you. Maybe they have it worse off. You don't know until you actually think about it. I mean, you don't really know how their life is until you think it through. Mm -hmm. Well, other than that, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the podcast. I've been Tanner. I don't know why we're doing like this. And that's Josiah. (laughs) Um, He might be dead. We're not sure. But adios. not dead. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching. Adios. Why did I wait? End on the clap again. Wrong. Loud noise warning. Wrong. Wrong.